Well, hello everyone, and a happy Friday to you all. Today is September 22nd, 2023. My name is Lenny Hernandez, and we have a delectable episode in store for you today. Our episode is all about Arrow Senior Living Community Brunches. Now, these scrumptious events happen once a month and are often themed around different holidays or special occasions that happen during that month. We have had delicious special meals prepared in honor of Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, among others. Now, families and loved ones are welcome to attend these mouthwatering events for a small fee, and they are always a big hit with the residents. Well, to learn more about Arrow's scrumptious brunches, I'm going to sit down with Managing Director of Culinary Operations, Alyssa Bruns, to learn more. So grab a snack, grab a seat, because you're going to need it. Get comfortable for a feast of your eyes and ears, okay? It's gonna be a delicious episode. Welcome to Aero Nicely News. Well, Alyssa, hello. Hello, Lenny, how are you? I am doing so well. I'm here at a community um, doing things, you know, for startup. And one of those things is I'm building a culinary board for you. That's awesome. So exciting. That kind of rolls right into what we're going to talk about, which is brunches. Love yes. these. Yes. So I've, much been, fun. I've been to several of our brunches. Uh, they are one of my favorites because it's food and I love food. So why don't you tell me about brunches what are we doing yeah, for sure so brunches yes you said a lot of food so we try to do a huge variety of different things so that way we can bring in as a social event we're hoping to kind of pull in you know residents their family their friends um prospect residents we're trying to pull in everybody we can to make this a huge fun social gathering because that's what food really is all about let's gather around the table and kind of what better way to come together so it's a lot of fun. Um, we have our culinary directors get to have, you know, full creative mindset over it all, um, do what they want. They pull in different residents and ask what they're feeling, um, what are some likes some dislikes. Um, and because it's such a huge, wonderful spread, we get to try a few little creative things in there every now and then to really kind of see, you know, what our culinary directors can do. Um, and to test out some options, you know, to see if we could add some new things to the menu, to the daily menu. Um, it's a good, good little spot for that. It's a lot of fun. It's an event that not only our residents are invited to, every, other people are invited? Yeah, we want to bring in everybody. We want to show off our skills and, and let everybody taste what our senior living food is really like, what we are really doing out there and seeing, you know, the wide variety of different things. So we want to bring in as every friend, every family, anybody wants to come in, we want to have fun with this. Um, one of my favorite things that they always offer is uh, like a carving station or an omelet station and those kinds of things where you're actually you know, when it comes to the omelet station, you're, you're literally it's being cooked right there in front of you. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. We do, so, I mean, action stations. And that's where we can really pull in different um, parts of our culinary team. Wait a second, so, wait a second. Action sta stations? Action stations? Is this action. is, is this is this technical terminology? Because I love this, I've never heard that before. Well, because we're doing it right in front of you. It's right there. Live action right in front of you. You know, carving, omelet stations. Um, waffle bars. I've, we've done crepe uh, stations. I, we did a pasta bar at one of them. I mean, endless possibilities with that. And we're able to pull in other culinary team members so that they can stand in front of these residents and residents can get to know our team, our sous chefs, our line cooks, pull them out and let them show off their skills right in front of the residents, talk with them. It's it's a great experience. It's it's. This is a great way I didn't even think about that. I, it's a great way for our residents to even meet some of our um, our, our line staff, you know, back yeah. of house to get them out in front to say, hey, I, you know, I, I'm making your, you know, I'm making your food fresh to order every day. Now you get to see yeah. my face. 
yeah, it's a, it's fantastic. They really love it and enjoy knowing who is back there, who is making their food. I mean, we all eat three times a day. That's a lot of times to be coming down. So I want to know who's making my food and I would like to get to know them a little bit better. So what better way than to do an action station in front of everybody and just get to sit there and talk. Uh, watch me make my omelet and I'll sit there and we can talk about family. We can talk about the community, whatever. Um, it's a great little interaction. So do our culinary directors use this, th our brunches and stuff, do they use it as a way to like test things out? Is that, did I hear that as well? Definitely. So because we offer such a variety, it's easy to kind of put one or two dishes in there that are something that typically residents, um, they don't like change or they don't want to try a lot of different things. So this is the opportunity to really get in there and you can try it. If you don't like it, that's okay. There's a million other options to try from and to, and you know, your comfort foods and your traditional staple items. Um, so we get to dabble in there. I remember working at a community and um, smoked salmon was something that residents had never had. So I made a smoked salmon. I had all the little sides that went with it. I did some um, crostinis, capers. There was um, a crema. There was all sorts of different things. And residents were blown away. They got to try it. They said, okay, it has to be on every brunch now. It's like, okay, I can make that happen. So <laughs> and to kind of, you know, broaden their horizons. Let them try some things. They'll let you know if they like it or if they don't. It's great. Um, and so what kind of is the process when it comes to uh, how often do they happen i guess and then like what is the process how do the residents find out how do they know which which days do we offer it and then if residents want to invite family members how does that go i guess it's a loaded question there's a lot of questions inside this one question how do we know how how, how does it happen how do we know on that end okay yeah so typically we try to do them every third sunday of the month Third Sunday, third only, Sunday of the month, third yeah. Sunday. Okay. The only caveat to that is if there is a holiday that lands on a Sunday, we push it towards that Sunday. So ah. Mother's Day, Easter, we want to do it on the actual holiday if it lands on a Sunday. Um, and then we send out a flyer to all of our residents way ahead of time. Um, we try to add in what the menu items are going to be or a little sample to kind of give them an idea um, okay. or a theme that we're going with. And then at the bottom of the flyer is a little sheet that they can turn into the front desk that has um, any information for who they would like to bring in, what family members are coming in, um, what friends. Um, we work with our sales team to see if any prospect residents are coming in. We send those flyers out as well. Um, so they can turn it into the front desk or you can have your family members call the front desk and reserve we really we do really want to push if we are bringing in family members and all sorts of different people we want to try to have these reservations it's just going to help us better control to make sure that we have enough of this amazing food out there for everybody with minimal waste we don't really want to overproduce a bunch um so reservations are key to this and we really try to push and kind of get those going um to help our teams out and get prepared one last thing before we go we have to make sure to reiterate the fact that it, this is not just for residents and their families. This also is for um, prospective residents, people who are interested, seniors that might not know what we exactly do that want to come in, see it, and kind of get a feel for themselves. Yeah, it's it's really shocking to see and. And I got to be a part of this when we brought in some prospect residents. Um, the other residents told them, come join my table. I want to talk and sit with you and, and tell you about my experience. And instantly, just kind of over some delicious food sitting there, they became friends and they got to talk back and forth. And, you know, there's so many options out there for senior living that food is definitely one that is going to set you apart. You eat again three meals a day along with snacks and we do events and all sorts of other things. So let me showcase what we're doing and show you why you should come live with us because we're going to take the best care of you. We're going to make sure that you are well fed. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great event to have and, and bring in and, and really showcase our teams and what they're doing. 
And I will just to button that up, I will say that these kinds of things is what separates Arrow apart from all of these other places. And what really does make us a great place to work and a great place to live. Definitely. You nailed it. Thank you so much, Alyssa, for sitting down with me today and telling us all about these wonderful events. Now, if you want to know more about attending a brunch, please reach out to your local community to find out when the next opportunity is for you to get in on these feasts. They're amazing. Our cup runneth over and we want to share the bounty with you. Well, everybody, that'll do it for this episode of Aero Nicely News. I hope we didn't tantalize your appetite too much with all that talk of irresistible food. Now, I told you to grab a snack, didn't I? I told you it was going to be delicious, mouth-watering and savory. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today. We'll be back in seven short days with another incredible, enjoyable, amazing episode of Aero Nicely News. So be sure to come back in one week. For Arrow Nicely News, I'm Lenny Hernandez. Have a wonderful weekend, an even better week, and we will see you all next Friday. <sighs> Goodbye now. I'm going to call one of my local communities to make a brunch RSVP right now.